Everyone say hello to Essie, yes. Hi. <laughs> Hi, my name is Essie Nguyen, the radio streamer. I am one half cat, one half cat, one half YouTuber, but I will just be astro nodding for this stream of beeps today. Um, I like to read stories on Sundays, so if you're looking for a little once upon a time in a kingdom far away, I've got you Sunday evenings. Um, and I play guitar and I play a lot of paleo. So it's, a, it's a, a good, not cozy, but cozy kind of vibe. I will tell you that Essie does fuck at guitar. I do. Yeah. <laughs> Essie played guitar for me one time, and now I'm pregnant. So this is the third time I've made an mpreg joke. I need to stop. Why do I got no. mpreg on the mind? Why not? What do you mean, why not? Why not? <laughs> why not? Give me one good reason why not. <laughs> I think we're not gonna beat around the bush here at all. I think we're gonna jump directly into a keyword search as recommended by our wonderful and lovely guest, Essie. I wanna do fairy tale because that's what I do. And I'm just curious if anyone's life has been ruined Is over that one fairy tale. Or two? It's one word. What? Whoa. <laughs> hmm. I like it. I like it. Am I the asshole for being upset that my parents gave my wedding fund to my sister to freeze her eggs? I have a lot of thoughts already. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thought. Mm -hmm. You can have feelings what actions came after those things, right? So we're 72% asshole, 28% not the asshole. All right. I want to preface this by saying that I've been 100% financially independent from my parents since the day I graduated college. I know Here they don't go. owe me a dime and I'm grateful for everything they've given me in life. I have a mm -hmm. sister who is about a decade older than me and my parents promised each of us a set amount of money towards our weddings. My sister used this money to have a big, beautiful wedding and I'm happy my parents were able to make her special day like something out of a fairy tale. Ding ding. There it is. There it is. Now it's my turn to get married, but my parents have admitted that they gave away the money they had to my sister. My sister, mm. a mother of one, had a series of health problems and had to freeze her eggs if she ever wanted to have another child. She didn't have the money and, the, and only had a few weeks before her, his, before her hysterectomy, so she asked my parents for the $13,000, which they obviously gave her. My sister was absolutely devastated by her health issues and scared, and because they're great people, my parents were willing to do anything to make her feel better. I know I sound like a selfish, vapid bitch for prioritizing my wedding over her fertility, but she was 36 when she got the diagnosis. There was no telling how long it would take for her health to recover, and it would be years before they could even afford supporting another infant, let alone the tens of thousands a surrogate would cost. I knew she would never have the means to use those eggs before she was 40, and she had made it very clear that she wouldn't want to have an infant at that age. In my opinion, she acted in panic and wanted a safety net that she knew she would never use. I don't blame her for being scared. I would have been terrified as well. I feel like this post is going to be difficult to come to a uh, judgment on. I, I do have a judgment though. Mm -hmm. Why are you talking to us and not to your sister? That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> People don't know how to talk to each other. What? In 2024. Whoa. Yeah. But I'm still upset that now I won't be able to have much of a wedding because I had been counting on the funds my parents had promised. Oh no, that's all you. What do you mean? That's irresponsible. <laughs> I'm not so much upset that they gave it to her, but I'm upset that they gave it to her knowing nothing would ever come out of it. Do you, do you though? Do this you is, I feel like this is still like projection here. Mm -hmm. Still making assumptions. That they traded my wedding day for her brief peace of mind. You my sister, your oh, wedding day. oh my, God, I'm my sister has confirmed already that she and her husband will not be having another child. Oh. Hmm. Well, um, mm, 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 mm. Hmm. 
When my parents told me there was no money, they were obviously stricken and apologetic. I couldn't hide my disappointment. I really tried to reassure them that I understood, but they could tell I was hurt. My sister called later and told me that it sucks I can't have a quote, fancy wedding, parenthetical, like hers, but basically I need to grow up? Which seemed hypocritical since she made such a big deal out of her wedding needing to be extravagant. She said she's sorry, but at the time her future children were more important than one day in my life not being as nice as I'd hoped. I know this isn't the end of the world. This is dumb and petty in the grand scheme of things, and I feel ridiculously shallow for being so so upset over losing my dream wedding. I'm still getting married. My wedding won't compare to my sister's, but I'm still marrying the love of my life, and it will still be an Uh awesome day. Thanks for sticking me through the story. I know plenty of you are rolling your eyes over this dramatic bullshit that comes to my wedding, so am I overreacting? Am I the asshole? I, okay, so that last line... Yeah. The entire half of the story build up to sounding like she's making assumptions before the verdict is delivered tells me that OP has a huge, like, self confidence problem. OP has. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a complex. Absolutely yeah. overthinking just about everything. The assumption that the reader is already rolling their eyes over, quote, dramatic bullshit, despite Mm -hmm. being on a subreddit dedicated to dramatic bullshit. Mm -hmm. Like, it seems like they're kind of person where like, oh, no, no, I can change. I can move things around. I can be considerate. When it's clear that everyone else in this picture was not considerate of OP, that parents didn't communicate, didn't say anything until the wedding. Mm -hmm. The sister didn't say anything either. And then had the nerve? to call her and say, I'm sorry, your wedding can't be as good. I would jump through the phone. It kind of sounds like OP has been walked over. Yeah. Pretty much her entire life. And it's normalized. Oh. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I... It's the fact that OP feels that no one would even want to be on their side before they even start. Right. Exactly. God, this was such a roller coaster. We went from like, wow, OP, you're such an entitled prick to mm-hmm. um, maybe you're a doormat that's been walked over your entire life and you have huge self-confidence issues. And while this was kind of low stakes and we we understand that it is maybe not the most important thing to write a post about, you still got fucked in the end. You got fucked. Mm-hmm. You did. You, yeah. you definitely did. And everyone else is walking over you like it's no big deal. And that fucking sucks for you. Being told you have a short window of time to freeze your eggs or give up ever having them again cause of health issues trumps a wedding. Yeah, I mean, it's it's scary. But like, if the decision to never have another child was already made and was yeah. incredibly grounded, it is irresponsible of you. Completely, yeah. To strong arm your parents. Mm-hmm to take your sister's wedding fund away, you know? Mm Mm-hmm. Right, Luna, And not to talk to your sister, to not say anything to her until she came to talk. Everyone Mm -hmm. sucks here, except for OP. Like, OP has a right to feel some kind of way. It's clear Mm -hmm. that they don't, they're very aware of where they are and how this situation can be seen. I don't think that they are jerks. Anyway, I'm firm on not the asshole here. I'm, I'm in agreement. I don't, nope, not the asshole. Am I the asshole for being disrespectful and tearing my, telling my parents good luck with that when they tried to ground me? In some households, being disrespectful is having an opinion. So, hmm. Are you an adult? Are your parents grounding you as an adult? I'm sorry. Wait a second. I do think well, that's the vibe. Home. 17% asshole, 83% not the asshole. Let's fucking go. Okay. Hmm. okay. All right. So it says, I live at home while going to university. I'm in my final year and I have a job lined up after I graduate. Esports. My parents have been charging me rent since I was 16. Six, <clears throat> sorry. Hmm. I have a small company that makes me about $60,000 a year, okay? okay? I started in high school, okay? It is one of the reasons I graduated early from high school and why I got attention from recruiters. My parents said since I was earning adult money, I could take in adult responsibilities. Hmm. I thought that this was fair. So I paid for all my own things starting at age 16, not university. I got a scholarship, mm, talented and gifted. And the rent they charged me was minor, $300 a month. Okay. But I basically consider it my room to be completely mine after that. I keep it tidy because I like it that way, but they had no say in when I cleaned it. 
when I do my laundry, other than that, other than to not do it at a time when I would disturb the family, for example, 3 a.m., I bought food for myself and I ate when I wanted. They tried to say oh. I was separating myself from the family, but I saw it more as having my own schedule. Hmm. This year for spring break, I went down to Mexico with friends. My parents were upset because they were hosting a big Easter family get together. When I got back, they said I was behaving badly by not being around for a family gathering. I said it was my last spring break in university and that I was not responsible for their schedule. Ooh. They said I was grounded and I laughed and said, good luck with that. I went to my room and locked the door. They tried banging on it for my attention, but I'm done. You started, you started charging your kid rent at 16. 16. So your 16. kid grew up. Your kid became an adult. Your yeah. kid was like, if you're going to alienate me from the family, I'm going to create my own schedule. I'm going to be an mm -hmm. adult. If the logic here is you're making adult money, you get treated like an adult. You can't turn around back mm -hmm. on that and be like, oh, you're not adhering to exactly what we want. We're going to ground mm -hmm. you. You can't act surprised when your kid mm -hmm. is like, okay, then I'm an adult and I'm going to do all my own shit then. It's like yeah. they're saying you're an adult at our convenience, which is fucked up. Right. That fucking part. Exactly. You you turned your child from being your kid to being your tenant. You became mm -hmm. OP's landlords and nothing else. My grandfather came over to talk to me later. He is the one who helped me get my company started and he is always there for me. He said that I was rude to my parents when they were trying to be there for me. No. I asked him, right? No, I had the same thought. Beef. I was trying to hold no. it in. I was trying to hold it in. What the fuck? Think so. I was trying to hold They're it in. I'm mad. To be there for what the? You. What do you made? What do you fucking made? <laughs> we we did that thing where I stopped one sentence too early. As he please read that next fucking line. I asked him how much rent he charged my mom when she lived at home. He said it was ridiculous to think he could charge his kids rent. What the? I told him that I've been paying rent for four years. Uh oh, he went oh. into the house. I heard a fight. Oh. Okay, Grandpa. Okay, Grandpa. Oh. When he came out, he said that I need to treat my parents with more respect. But since they were my landlords, they do not have several. How I spend my time? Let them know, Gramps. Let them Let know. Oh. I'm avoiding my parents for now, and I'm renting an Airbnb right now until I graduate. Cause you got the money. <clears throat> I took everything that was important to me, and I left six hundred dollars the last two. <gasps> you you still paid your last two months of rent? You are that not the asshole. Wonder, that makes me that makes me wonder if they were in like low key a contract. Mm-hmm. It ends with they keep calling me, but I'm currently getting ready to move for my new job. I don't have the energy to deal with them. And you should Real. not have to. Real as hell. The end. Real the as end. hell. The end. Damn. Essie, what is a daddy coded daddy boy? Who, I need to know. Who who is a daddy coded daddy boy? Daddy is a state of mind. Exactly. Anyway, new holes. Wait, is this as common as Yaoi? No, it can't be that common. Oh my God. No. Am I the asshole for refusing <laughs> to pay for my girlfriend's plane ticket after she decided to stay longer on her trip without me? So here's the deal. My 28M girlfriend, 27F, of two years and I planned a two week vacation to Italy. I paid for the flights, hotels, everything because I make more than she does and I wanted it to be a stress-free trip for the both of us. Everything was great until the last day where she tells me she wants to stay longer to quote unquote, find herself and think about our relationship without me. She didn't discuss this with me beforehand and it completely blindsided me. Like we're literally one paragraph in and this is so fucked. You're going, so if fucked. you're, if you're having doubts about a relationship and you've got someone literally like paying for your, your food, Everything. your flight, your lodging, your hotel, your literally everything on a vacation to a different country. And that's decided fucked you up. wouldn't communicate. I don't care what the roles are. Zero. It's fucked up. It's fucking fucked. I was hurt and told her that if she feels she needs time alone, then she should also be independent financially during this extension of her trip. I said I wouldn't mm. be paying for her new return ticket whenever she decides to come back. Now she's upset, calling me unsupportive and selfish, and some of our friends are saying, I'm being an asshole because I left her stranded in a foreign country without financial help. Put it all away. 
She literally the did this away. to throw, herself. Throw them away. Throw them all away. New friends. New friends 2025. Go next. Go next. Go fucking next. She literally no. sounds like a trust fund baby. She She's literally gonna... sounds like one of those fucking white girls with dreadlocks on TikTok. Listen. <clears throat> Just get some good tea. She had a plane ticket. What do you mean? Am I the asshole for refusing to pay for a new ticket home after she chose to extend her trip without any heads up? No. Update. Ooh, 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 ooh. The update is. Ooh, damn, that's thick. Is twice as long, three times as long. We're both back in America now, and she's packing her shit to go stay with her family for a bit until she can find a new place. Soon after mm -hmm. I posted, it was time to go to the airport, so I did without her. I'm one of mm -hmm. those people who arrives really early because I think I'll because I never think I'll get to the gate in time because everything that could go wrong probably would go wrong. Mm -hmm. It never does, but especially with how I was feeling with my luck, I didn't want to push it. I was there for about an hour by myself, mulling over things and talking to my mom. Oh. I looked at a couple responses to this post, but I didn't trust that I wouldn't lose it if I started responding. And I definitely didn't want to burst into tears while I was in the airport. As I was oh. talking to my mom, my girlfriend showed up. I guess she mm -mm. thought I was bluffing, but had a rude mm -mm. awakening when the hotel staff kicked her out of her room because I'd only paid through that day. Mm -hmm. I <laughs> when will you learn that your actions have consequences? They really do. This imagine, is fucking around. Imagine. Meaning finding out. Mm -hmm. I took no small amount of sat satisfaction in this, not gonna lie. She'd been so concerned about the plane ticket that she didn't even stop to think where she was going to stay. That's so wild. What do you mean? What the do you mean? What the? What do you mean? Wait, didn't they say the girlfriend's 27 years old? Uh, 28 and oh, 27. Oh, my God. Yep. Oh, my damn. Mm. As many mm -hmm. of you guessed, she met someone while we were in Italy. <laughs> oh! What? 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 No! What? No! What? No! Not only did she meet someone, she met someone that apparently could not help with her with lodging or a plane ticket. Oh, man, this is like that TikTok. Okay, okay, shirt tangent. There's this TikTok that's like never worrying about never worrying about seeing my ex because they can't afford to be here. This is giving that. This is giving that right now. Mm. 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 She was quick to tell me that it was just a physical attraction. That they hadn't done anything. I'm gonna start beatboxing. I'm gonna start beatboxing. But she had his at and was wanting to see if it'd go anywhere. Oh my god. I guess that's what I get for not feeling well and wanting to stay in one night while she went out to explore. Mm mm. So you don't have find yourself money. You, you don't have find yourself money cheating on your sugar daddy with. A random Italian man, I guess? Ooh. Obviously, I told her things were over between us. Even though she tried to make it sound like nothing had happened, the fact was uh -oh. A, I couldn't feel like I could trust her when she said that, and B, I don't really wanna be with someone who feels like it's okay to still, quote, keep her options open when she's been in a monogamous relationship for the past two years. The flight home was awkward as fuck, and she tried really hard to give another pitch for why we should stay together on our drive home from the airport. I think oh. as we got closer to home, reality started setting in and she realized she just thrown a lot away. Sorry, so yeah, sorry, I'm jet lagged and physically and emotionally exhausted. I'm just kind of numb at this point. What the? Fuck? You quite literally, quite literally fucked around. You literally, and found quite out. literally fucked around and found out. Congratulations. Silly games get silly fucking prizes. You have a partner who is like, I see where you are. I love you. I care for you. I'll take care of everything because I want you to just have a great time. And this is what the fuck you decide to do. Turns out that great time included a little bit of side hookups. Had the audacity to say you wanted to figure out the relationship without this person, but wanted them to pay. That's so, ooh. ooh the sausage is always savorier on the other slice of pizza. That's what they it say really every is. time. It That's really been is. a saying, you can look it up. Mm -hmm. It's in the Bible, for sure. It's in, <laughs> it's in the Bible, yeah. Yes. Hmm. Ooh, mm-mm, that literally, 
Yeah, I'll read this one. I'll read it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're ready to get angry, angry, huh? Yeah, I'm pulling up my sleeves, actually. If Whoa. you heard that, the sound, that was me pulling up my sleeves. I'll say that again. Am I the asshole for working less after my divorce, even though it means my ex gets less child support? For the last 10 years, I've been working my ass off to earn money so my family could enjoy an excellent standard of living. This was apparently the wrong thing to do since it led to my wife deciding that since I was never home, she should bang other dudes. When I work out of town, I earn about $240,000 a year. Where I live, child support for two kids is about $3,300 monthly with that salary. Since my divorce, I went to 50-50 custody and I work in town, so I only earn $100,000 yearly. So my child support is actually only $800 a month. My ex is going bananas because she isn't getting what she thought she would. My lawyer has tried explaining that child support is based on income and since I am not working ridiculous hours to make lots of money for vacations and a huge house I don't need, I do not earn as much. She's telling everyone what an asshole I am for cutting back on my work to deprive my kids. And this is bullshit. I have my kids half the time. And since I cannot be out of town, I, can, I earn less. My kids have everything they need. Am I the asshole? This title was misleading. It was. Yeah. It sounded like you were intentionally working less. Yes. To mm -hmm. give less child support to your ex. Mm -hmm. But by way of being divorced, you can know, like, because of shared custody, you can't be out of town anymore. You are yeah. required to work to less. To be within a certain distance, yeah. Yeah, you're cutting your hours yeah. to be there for 50-50 custody. And because it's 50-50, you don't need the extravagant lifestyle choices. You cut no. back hours to be there for your kids more and to live a more normal standard of living, not the asshole. If you would have said you cut your hours strictly to avoid child support, then yes, mm -hmm. you would be the asshole. Mm -hmm, but before mm -hmm, warned, mm -hmm. she could appeal it and go back to court to get a ruling on assumed income and tell yes. them that you cut your hours to avoid paying. So watch what he, you post and how you phrase it completely. Yeah, she's a teacher. It, it sounds like she was getting a shit ton of money from child support, able to sort of fund her continued extravagant lifestyle and then was suddenly no longer able to do that with a reduced amount. You know what? We didn't actually get any feelings from this person. We had to read between lines. There's nothing describing and then thing. There was nothing about how this person felt. We had to like guess it. I feel like there's so much more to that first paragraph than was written what was written there's right. there's so much in between those those words yeah there's so much you you set me up to not like you after the first paragraph but after Literally. like the actual facts i worked my ass off for my family right everyone sucks here and these poor kids are going to need a lot for therapy right mm -hmm. i don't think he's an ass for being sassy about his cheating wife i mean yes it's just the way that it's worded sounds a little trad husband trad wife yes bullshit you know what i mean like but for the situation at hand absolutely not the asshole absolutely justified in being angry over your cheating wife 100 percent, 100 percent. so i don't think i don't think we're doing everyone sucks here mm -mm. because i'm i'm honing in on the matter at hand you know what i mean for, yeah for the, okay. for the post's sake not the asshole